Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to try Good Foods plant-based queso dip. And we'll see if it's a good food right right after after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two Two Crazy Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So, recently, I went to Aldi's to pick up some items for our 12 things that may be causing a stall, and I came across a very interesting product, and uh, I'm going to show you the label here. This is from a company called Good Foods. And this is a plant-based queso dip. Wow. So it's it's cheese, but it, there's no cheese. Yeah. There's it no is milk. Dairy-free. Now, you know we've done a couple of videos. If you haven't seen them, I'll link like the one for the Beyond Burger up over Rachel's head where we've reviewed some plant-based eggs and plant-based burgers, and I really wasn't very happy with them. But we're not anti-vegetables. No, absolutely we not. We like our veggies. And what really intrigued me was right on the front, it does say no artificial anything. It's clean. Okay, I like that. So I did quickly glance at the ingredients in the store, but we're not going to go over them. But I'm really, really intrigued by this. Awesome. So we decided, why not pick it up? Or I decided I and say, do a review was, of it. I was not in on this, but I am not against this. Now I love queso dip, but the problem on keto is most it. of the time, you know, queso dips have like all kinds of extra thickeners and things like that in there. I want to get everything off the lid, and I don't want to lick the lid. I can smell it. Hmm. It kind of smells like cheese. No, not to me. I think it smells kind of vegetable-y. I don't know. It's got a cheese smell to it. Okay, we're going to actually... I have a spoon here. Okay. But I'm going to give it a little stir because it looks like it could use a stir. It could use a stir and a hug. Okay, so we're going to try this two different ways. Tell it it looks pretty. <laughs> we're going to try two different ways. We're going to try it on a chip because okay. that's how you would normally want yeah. a queso. And then we'll also try it with the, just a spoon. Which one do you want to go first? Plain or with the chip first? I, I feel like we better do it plain first. And then the... And then the chip. Our version of a okay, chip. Okay, well, I only have one which spoon. Which is a pork rind. So I'm going to give you some. I'm going to let you be the guinea pig since I was the guinea pig on the other plant-based things. Looks like baby food. Should I show this to them? I'll let you savor that. You can't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, you ready? Wow. It's very good, but they should not, like, I don't think they should sell it as queso dip. I think they should sell it as bean dip. Doesn't it taste like a bean dip? I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think it, it, it's, I mean, it's obviously not cheese. It doesn't have that stringy queso cheese. I don't know. I like it. It's got a good queso taste to me. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm saying that it just doesn't taste like cheese to me. It's got a queso flavor. I'll say that. Queso is all those flavors. Okay, so we're going to dip it with the barbecue seasoning epic pork rind. Here we go. Oh, that's a home run. I'm double dipping. That is a home run. It is delicious. Like, I find it to be delicious. I'm just not sure that it feels like total, like, queso to me. I don't know. It does to me. But it's a great dip. Like, I love it. Again, it it doesn't have... It it, it is a little grainy. I'm going to say that. We'll get into it with the five things. Yeah. But I don't know. I like it. Okay. I'm interested to see what it's made out of. You want to put through five things? Yeah, five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And 
Finally, would we recommend this? So number one. Number one is the ingredients. Which I cannot wait to find out what's in here. The ingredients in this are cauliflower, red bell peppers, almonds, water, almonds. almond butter, apple cider vinegar, red onions, lemon juice, garlic, sea salt, nutritional yeast. There's the cheese. Chia protein, ground cumin, ground turmeric. Cayenne pepper. And that's it? That is all of the ingredients. Wow. You cannot get any cleaner unless they were to put the word organic before each one of those ingredients. That is amazing. The ingredients in this are amazing, which is, again, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, we're going to have another good joke video. Plant-based queso. Like, how do you make queso? The joke's on you, sir. And when I saw the ingredients, I'm like, oh, we're trying this one. That's awesome. Okay, so number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Okay, well, it has. if it leads with cauliflower, I imagine it doesn't have a ton of carbs now, in it. Now, this is the one that I could not see because I did not have my glasses oh. in the grocery store. Oh, we got a little with you. So there are eight servings in this container, which probably for me, a serving size is two tablespoons. I would say I'm going to eat a quarter of this container in a sitting. 45 calories per serving. Okay. Okay, so if you have a double serving, nine calories, not so bad. 90. Three grams of fat, Mm -hmm. two grams of protein, three total carbohydrates, one gram of dietary fiber. So let's go back and just kind of, you're going to get your math whiz on here. All right. Eight times 45. (sighs) So 90 times four. 360, right? Okay. 360. Am I right? 360. Hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'll put it down below. Three times eight fat. 24. 24. 24 grams of fat. If you eat the entire container. Which I will. Two times eight for the protein. 16. 16 grams of protein. Yay. Finally, I got one. Carbohydrates, three times eight. So if you eat the entire container, it's 24 total carbohydrates minus eight grams of dietary fiber. So now we're back down to what? 24 minus eight. 16. 16. Not bad. That's really not bad. That's, and it's all vegetables. It's, it's, that's one of those ones that I'm okay with taking the dietary fiber out for a net carb kind of thing. Because it's an actual vegetable. Because it's vegetables. There is nothing, nothing, nothing bad in there. Well, I gotta, I'm not going to eat the whole thing either. I might. You might. <laughs> Well, I got to get to number three. Number three, how does it taste? It tastes really, really good. Actually, I think I need to get another taste of it. I'm not sure that it tastes super cheesy. Like, I know there's nutritional yeast in there. That's the cheese flavor. But it definitely has all of the spices of, you know, reminiscent of when we used to go to a Mexican restaurant. Tastes like that. More like a bean dip, I think. For me, it's got a nice cheese taste. It doesn't have the cheese texture. Right. Maybe that's what's weird. It's me got a little. a little bit of that, like the ground up, it's like a watery almond butter. Yeah. That's kind of the texture in there. But all of the spices, all of the combination of the vegetables, there's definitely a hint of vegetable there. Yes. But like a very cheesy vegetable. I don't know. I just think that they come up with like an incredible assortment of vegetables and the apple cider vinegar which is what's kind of giving it that tang man it's just right that it's perfect and i'm gonna i love cheese oh yeah i would rather have this than cheese really because here's the thing dairy i try to limit i like my dairy Mm -hmm. i try to put in its place and maybe have a hunk of cheese with dinner i would love to have a little bit of this maybe Put across a piece of steak or on top of your burger. This would make a really nice, like, Mexican burger. Yes. It would be yes. really tasty with that. I just, I like it. And again, I don't, there's really not any more carbs in this than there is in cheese. Because the bottom line is an ounce of cheese has a carb in it, no matter what kind of cheese you have. I also think it would be really good if you were making, like, fajitas or tacos or something like that. This would be a really great Taco Tuesday to just drizzle over your grilled chicken. Actually, I just took a ground beef for us for tomorrow. Taco bowl. I was going to make a taco bowl. We're each going to have a pound of ground beef taco bowl. Hello. And put this across the top of it. I'm telling you. A lot of flavor. It's good. Especially if you're trying to stay dairy free or limit your dairy. Yeah. Okay. Number four. 
How much does it cost? Well, it came from Aldi, so I have high hopes. $2.99. No, it did not cost that. $2.99. Now, do you know why I'm going to buy this more often? Get your car keys. We're going back to Aldi. Now, I do not know if this is one of their Aldi special buys, limited thing. I, I almost bought more than one, but I'm like, ugh. What if it doesn't taste good? But yeah. we are going to be going to, out to eat in a little while, and I will be going to get another Swinging one. Swinging back around and getting one again, because you know how Aldi is. Like you, you never know. Oh, I love that. Oh no, it's yeah. gone. Okay, so number five, would we recommend this? I am so happy to say yes because we definitely are not vegetable haters. Yes. And I'm glad that this, when you use real food and mix real food together. We're on board with it. Yeah. A real product comes out. I am excited about this product. I Again, I love cheese, but I love the ingredients in this. And like Rachel said, we are not anti-eating vegetables. We love vegetables. We don't have a problem with things. We just don't want Franken foods. Right. And this, in my opinion, is not a Franken food. Well, and a side note, this is not super spicy. No. So I think this would be really good to work into a family taco night. The yeah. kids would probably like this flavor too. Let us know down in the comment section if you have tried this. Also, let us know if there's any other Aldi's finds that maybe we don't know about that we should go look for. We don't want to miss them. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.